Hello everyone, and welcome to Murdering with Red Raptor Rights. <laughs> oh wow, he's walking right to the kill zone that I set up for him, which is very nice. Um, okay, <laughs> thank you for that, he makes it easy on me. So we can just hop right into it. Don't attack me, attack that. It's not gonna go well for him. <laughs> And dead. <laughs> oh, well, that was easy. I didn't expect the episode to kick off like that. Okay, well, there we go. That's two of three. Well, in this level. That's Thank one you. of three to get a teddy bear. I actually shouldn't have started killing them until I had to start building the bomb because one of their corpses will despawn when I need four of the R30 somethings in their bodies. And then there's a corpse over there, so that gives me three, and I'll need another one. So I actually have to kill four big daddies now that I started early. You'll you'll see what I mean later. Uh, is this Lisa? Okay, she scared me. I thought that was a splicer. I could use film. But no one seems to want to give it to me. Oh, there's also a secret area up here. You hop up here. Go along here. Ooh, body. Ooh, yeah. So, there's really nothing that interesting, like I don't need to say if I have max money right now, and I don't need ammo of course, so that's that. But if you're not doing wrench only, of course that's going to help a lot. Ooh, that was a good one. God, that's how you get Static Discharge too. That can come real handy, but I don't... I don't need Photographer's Eye anymore. Like, research is just not that helpful, now that I've got most of it done. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> no, no. Okay, cool. Brutal murder, that's nice. She's dead. Um... There's a living one over there somewhere. Okay. I'm actually looking really good right now. Got full health, almost full E, full money. Yeah, there's always just resources lying around for you to pick up. Woo. Oh, that's what's making the noises. You're dead. Yeah. Now we have Max E too. Oh! Oh, I made a mistake. It's in Olympus Heights that they changed the ice. Wow, that was really effective. But I don't remember any Houdini spices in Olympus Heights, but that's what my research told me. So. Reminds me of Home Alone 2. Uh, good times. When the uh, Marv gets electrocuted, 
pretty good. You can actually only auto-hack this, I think. It's impossible if you actually try to hack. Man, Andrew Ryan is just a total savage. You know what, I have to end this man's whole career. <laughs> Before he ends mine. Oh, I forgot to get the research on, but it doesn't really matter. We got natural camouflage, that's all we really needed from him. Or his kind. Ooh. Useful, but not... Top priority. I didn't recognize the twist that come into the shop today. Stacked like Sally and dressed to the nines. She's playing her cards pretty close to the vest, but you ain't gonna be no college job. That she's into some bad China. She was acting about magnetic locks and some such. I played it cool. I missed! <laughs> no! Did I miss twice? How am I missing? He died? Oh. Is he- why is he falling over? What's the problem? Why do I keep missing? <laughs> These guys are good. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh, why are there so many? I was not ready for this. Mentally, I mean, I'm pretty good right now. What? Oh man, I can't hit that. Or maybe I can. Oh! I just did what's called a pro gamer move. <laughs> Usually Houdini Spices have better loot than that. That's disappointing. But reality is often disappointing. Oh, right. Uh, McDonna has an audio diary. Here. Oh, Navarro. Oh, no, no, no. It is McDonough's. I begged Mr. Ryan to hand Fontaine two heuristics over to Atlas Boys as a peace offering. And a stupid sword. Wow, Mr. Come on. I mean, I know I played it out of place. It's my bad. Another man. Happens to be on a plane that crash lands on the same city in the middle of the ocean. Why? That sounds more like a middle. Sorry about that. I'll beg Mr. Ryan to hand on time to heuristics over to Amos's boys as a pace offering. But the stupid sword won't listen to the reason. Instead, he's just splicing his mob up, giving them more and tougher players fits. There's an old race on here in Rancher, but it's not about who can build the best guns and the biggest bombs. It's about who can become less of a man and more of a monster. Such a good quote. This game is full of such good quotes. What would be good? Um... What was I? I was looking at Wrench Lurker 2, wasn't I, last time? Alright, let me just pick that up now. What did I replace with- ah, whatever. I don't care to find out. One of these might be faking it? No, not yet. Maybe not yet, I don't know. Um, I'm looking for the workshops, am I not? Yes. And I'll leave you alive for now. What? Hit her! Get! Get! Yeah. Ranch Lurker 2 already doing wonders. I'm happy with my plasma setup for now.
But if there was a vending machine that would give me film, that would be very nice. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to mention is that I love how there's just so much in the environment that you can utilize to your advantage. Like, every room you have to strategize differently and it really keeps you on your toes. Like, I can use these barrels over here, I can actually use these trap bolts over here to kill. I can pretty much grab anything and there's a turret over here and turrets downstairs. The entire world is just full of things. Oh my! That's bad. That is really bad. Um. Okay. <laughs> get me out, get me out, get me out. If I just keep them. Oh no, 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 no. Now I can keep them all occupied long enough. I can run and hide. We're good. <laughs> and, I mean, we're not good, but we're alive. Get out of the way. I think he's still upstairs, so I'm good for now. Uh, I can afford it, so why not? Oh, I hate that sound. I hate that sound. <laughs> Okay, I'm not under attack, so I think that was above me. Like, eventually the Big Daddy forgives you, or just forgets about what happened. It takes a few minutes. So by the time I get back up there, I should be okay. This will be useful. Not so useful as to take priority. The basic casing is ready. I've got one charge of nitroglycerin in my office. That will serve as the catalyst. Now I need a 4R34 lead sheet wire stubs to pass the circuit. Then a half can of ionic gel. That's the pretty betty of the mix. Should send the coin to compensation mode. Push power down the line and trigger the circuit. I know a few people in compensation mode, not saying. <laughs> It'll either work like a charm, or blow up half of rapture. Nothing ventured. Okay. So, let's hope the Big Daddy's forgiven me, and allows me to wander around without getting brutally murdered. Um, okay, I hear him. Huh. Okay, he knows I'm here. Let's put this to good use. Why does that keep- What? Is this a glitch? Or is it just really hard to aim? And you want to be mindful of how many times you do this because they do shatter and don't leave any loot. Doesn't sound like. Oh, forgot about that. Okay, so, what is Australia Day? I'll pick this up in a bit. Let me find Australia Day.
he's forgiving me. Okay, all is well, all is well. Zero, one, two, six. Cool, cool, cool. Pretty sure he got soft. <laughs> I tracked problem that was blocking the tubes here and you will Oh yeah, that's the farmer's market audio there. diary. <laughs> the damn farmer's Wait, market clear hold up. <laughs> the other end of rapture. I fixed it right up and installed some new gasket. Oof, what a mess. Anyway, the code is zero five one two if you ever need yes, to get zero one two six. Zero one two six. See, I can go back. Did I hack it? I don't think I hacked it. No. I can go back, but it's really not worth it. Especially bench only. So, one, two, six. Um, is there a corpse? A body anywhere? This guy will do. No. Oh, right. This is Kyber's, uh, body. You can't just telekinize these. And we align them. Well, the Andrew sisters again. And this time I don't have a security bot to ruin it for me. Okay, it's up there. Let me just make sure. I don't want to trigger that one because it'll ruin the the record player. I'm pretty sure if I hit this one, that'll vibrate that and then ruin that. So, oh yeah, another useless weapon upgrade. But oh no, forgot about that. If you freeze something instead of electrocuting it. Then it slows down the hack process, so it makes it easier. So Winter Breath is actually like kind of better than Electro Bolt, but with Electro Bolt, you get to shock them in water and do the one-two punch. So it's worth keeping around. Don't know who you are and why you're dead in Kyber's office, but okay. Chosen to destroy themselves with careless splicing on the line. But I will make no proclamations. I will dictate no laws. Great chain moves slowly but with wisdom. It is our impatience that invites in the parasite of big government. And once you've invited it in, it will never stop feeding on the body. <laughs> I just need to load up a bit. Oh, it's another one. These are always worth researching, because again, they give you more health than Eve. Oh, come on. Just finish it. Just finish it. Yay. I don't really need this. This is the last level with bouncers as the uh, big daddy. Until Proving Grounds, but still, even then. When you have Proving Grounds, it's easy. Um, okay, yeah. I'm going to save for like five seconds. So the main focus here will just be building the bomb and getting all the components. Um, there should be a big daddy corpse over this way. Oof. Hear that spider splice going off, but I don't know where he is, so I can't really deal with that right now. Yeah, there are extra big daddies roaming around just in case I need an extra 
R34. Somewhere around here. Oh, there he is. Almost dead. Two hits. That's good. Ranch Liker 2 is doing wonders. Imagine when I get to plug both of them in at the same time. That would be nice. Oh my goodness. I'm just looking for the first big daddy I killed, but he may have despawned. Probably did. Okay. But actually, I know there's a corpse more towards the beginning, towards Ryan's office. Oh, hi! <laughs> oh, that was so easy. There. Two quarter cans of Ionic Gel. Done. Usually there's a dead guy, or a fake dead guy, there. I really do like the sound design of this game. Like, you hear the whales. It's beautiful. There it is. Hello there. It's 204. And let's see. This should be the one in, uh... What's it called? Heat loss monitoring. Monitoring. She's this way. Oh, <laughs> scared me. <laughs> heat loss. Where's heat loss monitoring? There we go. Are you alive? No. <laughs> you can actually check them with telekinesis. If they're alive, you can't move them, but if they're dead, you can move them. Yep, there's one more. And there's a splicer nearby, because that door is open for no reason. Okay. Now let's go kill that one that's at half health, and we'll be set. I like the water effects. Like when you go splish splash in the water. Oh, look at that. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. What really sells the experience is how like realistic they actually made the water look and how it's leaking everywhere. Ugh. Oh, I thought that TV was a splicer. I'll leave this one alone. I'll go for the one that's at half health in the workshops. Hopefully it has a little sister so we're not just wasting our time. Or we can wait for it to get one. You're alive. You're not shooting at anything. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Is it here? No. Okay, it's down here, and there are actually a lot. Oh no, no, don't go for dream time. Wait, I need a shot at the. No, ah. What? Ah, uh, I can't get to the barrels. Yo. Oh man. No, attack the attack attack the target dummy. Attack the target dummy. That's what I wanted. <laughs> it took a while, but eventually we got there. And that's my fourth wire cluster. And final little sister of the level. We're making really good progress. And I'm not scared out of my pants, because there aren't spider splices coming from everywhere. Thank you. Fort Frolic is the only level to make like full use of the spider splicers, where they're constantly jumping down from the wall and coming at you from all angles, attacking you. And it just full it utilizes them to the fullest and making for a really terrifying experience. Here they're just like kinda walking on the ground, usually. Or or playing dead, but they're not they're not that bad in this. Oh but Poseidon Plaza with the white splicers too. 
<laughs> the plastered ones that are silent. Um, man. And? This is screenshot material. No, I'm sure I got a good pick in there somewhere. Didn't realize that was there. Look at the real bomb. It better. You got to put it on the core past geothermal control. And we'll see if these needle noses knew what the hell they were talking about. They haven't seen me yet. They haven't seen me yet. <laughs> wow. These guys have so much health. But I should go for the health station next instead of just shooting at me. Just like Steinman. One thing I love just doing wrench only is that you have to be so creative with the ways you kill the big daddies and splicers. You can't just gun everything down or just shoot everything into submission. You actually have to like use everything at your disposal. Use all the tips and tricks and the environment so well in order to get ahead. Yeah, you could just beat the splicers into submission, but with big daddies, that does not work at all. And with groups of splicers, it's more difficult. I knew that was coming, I just wanted to see if that would scare anyone at home. Hello there. Oh yeah, so Obi-Wan's back. It was announced that he gets his own TV show now. Bill McGregor was like, one of the few good things about the prequels, so to see him get his own show is awesome. I'm also really excited for The Mandalorian. Okay, so we're gonna end it here. Next up, Geothermal Control and bombing Andrew Ryan. <laughs> we're gonna take him down. See you then.